In today's How to Slice, we're gonna be checking out some awesome models that will be printed in vase mode. So let's begin the video. So this is the pointy table lamp. As you can see, this is a really pointy um, lamp shade. And over here, we got the support that's gonna hold um, the lamp shade right here. So this is a really nice model to print and lay on your desk table. So first off, this is the base and over here we got the lid. So as you can see, there's three types of lid. So I do recommend printing all of them to see which one is the best that's gonna fit um, into the base because depending on what you're um, in what printer you have, um, the this one actually as you can see lid 0 0.55 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 so as you can see sometimes um, one of them might not fit so by printing um, the three of them you'll get um, the exactly size um, for your uh, printer calibrations so let's take a look before we print the shade let's see the best print configurations to print the base and the lid. So first off, as for the base, you can be printing this at your standard uh, printing um, profile. You can print at 0.18 millimeter layer height with the infill of 15%, so you get a really dense um, part, and with gyroid fill pattern. It does not need any brim because this model got a good bad adhesion only if you want you can be adding um, to the base right here some brim because it's quite tall but you won't need it will print perfectly fine as for support the models do, do not need any support and as for speed you can be printing at your standard uh, printer uh, printing speed because these models are quite easy to print and you're not gonna have any issues differently than the shade you're gonna have to print this in vase mode so let's see the best print settings to print um, the shade but first off let's just slice and take a look so as you can see i just sliced the model it will print perfectly fine with a 15 um, percent infill in gyroid so it's gonna print perfectly fine the lids and the base so let's go to the shade to see the best print configurations to print it. So to print this beautiful shade, we're going to be printing in vase mode. So for the ones of you that don't know, uh, vase mode um, is a really nice feature to print because it prints just one wall of your ob object and it's gonna do it's gonna print in spiral so it's not gonna leave any sim seams to the print and it's gonna print just one go so it we'll starts do the spiral until it ends the model so this is a really nice it leaves a really thin um, wall and for the shade it's gonna be really nice because sometimes you want the um, the light to pass through the shade right so by printing just one wall um, you're gonna have a really nice effect so going to print settings right here you're gonna select spiral vase so the spiral vase requires one perimeter so it's gonna print just one wall no top solid um, layers zero percent fill density okay so um, it's gonna be hollow no support material um, detect thin walls disabled so let's just select yes just um, a quick tip over here in solid layers you can leave it at five just so you can you get a good support while um, by attaching to the base of the lampshade so five it's really nice you can increase to six if you want to but five um, is perfect as for layer height we can be reducing to 0 0.18 millimeters so we can get a better quality print and as for infill it's set to zero percent that's fine does not need any brim because it's got a good bad adhesion to the build plate does not need any support material as for speed we're going to be reducing the speed while printing in vase mode because it needs to cool down the layer before so you can print on top 
and as you're gonna print a really tiny wall it's recommended that you go really slowly so you can be reducing the speed to 30 millimeters a second for perimeters right here small perimeters some you're not going to change because infill you're not going to have printing infill solid infill um, you're not going to be uh, printing solid infill top solid infill you're not going to be printing support material so you can just change perimeters right here perimeter and small perimeters and external perimeters to 30 millimeters a second so now you're ready to print this beautiful model so let's just slice and take a look so as you can see i just sliced the model it's gonna take seven hours and 46 minutes to print and as you can see it's gonna print um, the base supporting right here that's gonna support the shade and as you can see it's gonna print, uh, print five one two three four five um, layers and it's gonna print after in face mode so as you can see spiral mode so it's gonna go printing um, on top of the layer so as you can see it's got only one uh, perimeter wall and the layers will keep printing and it's gonna turn into a really nice finished model that you can lay in your desk so this is a really nice lamp to print. So the model is ready to print. Make sure you check stlflix.com for more models like this one. And I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from STLflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.